weekly whirl number five yep. for Harmony Turbines. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> what is the date today? The 16th of April. Yeah. And we got our forklift back. We got a whole bunch of awesome things this week buttoned up. We have our bandsaw working now, thanks to my uncle and Josh putting some time in on that. A lot of time. We have <laughs> our welding area even further set up and we've got a couple things started with the lathe already. We have some organizational things that we did this week. We filled out and, uh, well not filled out, but we added more tools to two more tool chests that we have. So we're starting to organize even further, starting to look at processes. Our welding area was cleaned up, but <laughs> we, we got it a little messy. Today. We made it a little bit messy because we're doing some things, but uh, we're getting ready to actually begin doing a little bit of welding. So at this point, we're gonna show you a few things. We're gonna talk about what we were doing this week. And Nate's even here joining us because they have no school the next three Fridays here. Three Fridays you guys have no school in the afternoon. So we've got our, our little intern, intern here <laughs> in the process. And my wife is behind the camera. Hello. Filming. Yeah. So Josh, you wanna show off what you guys did with the... So. Many hours, still not done yet. Um, we got the coolant bucket down here with the mount holding up so we can move it back and forth. The hose line going. Um, it's in slow and we can even kick it on. Yep. It's on the metal, we can do that. If Go ahead and hit it on. Very nice. We don't need to cut any metal in Sean, but no. we have our bandsaw working. It's off when it's done, it's beautiful, it's cool, it's there. Nice. Yeah, and the intern reaches in while the blades are yeah. <laughs> Nathan, our intern, was doing some organization on our tooling. So we've got our tooling here, beginning to get our collet holders all set up. And nice. the machines are now both done. There is one more thing we're gonna do on this machine, but the guards are working, it's beautiful. If we, we built the, in the back, there's a piece of material that had been destroyed early on when the other company had these machines or something and the guards weren't protecting the ball screws. So if we go down completely and then back up, you'll want to zoom in a little bit. I'll turn the light on. And you'll see the middle guard getting pulled up here in a second. There it goes. See how it's pulling it up now? And then it'll pull the second guard up in a moment. There it goes. Yep. That keeps our ball screw protected while we're machining. That was, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's huge. That's really important to keep the ball screw clean just as much as all the weight covers. We put new um, springs on our weight covers so they function properly when we do the, when we, there you can get the weight cover expanding. Mm -hmm and then when they contract, so all the springs are on the weight covers and they work correctly now. So our mill is working like a champ. Both mill one and mill two. At this point, we're, uh, we're gonna be ready to start doing some test cuts here. It's kind of exciting. Very much so. The lathe, we're just doing the wiring. So this is a little bit of a mess in here. I'm rewiring all the three phase for the motor to be on 480, and that's gonna be, uh, you know, probably Monday. I have to find a wiring diagram for the, there's a three phase brake in the back. It's a high power brake for this three phase motor to, to stop it quickly when you take the power off. So we need to get the wiring diagram for the brake, but I have the wiring diagram for the motor. Once we get that finished, we can wire this up for 480 and we'll have that coming down right here, 480 to a disconnect switch for this big beautiful lathe. This guy is uh, its a tank, so I'm excited to see how this runs. We haven't even fired this up yet, so we'll see how this operates. The last piece of machinery we haven't messed with in the shop is this dinosaur. It's a beast, but we'll play with it when we have some time. It's our horizontal mill. Um, right now I'm not worrying about getting this up and running. We have other things that we can work on in the meantime. So 
we, uh, we do want to get the lathe working though, so that's going to allow us to do some critical machining that we need to do to work on the prototype. Alright, welding is going to be Monday. I think we're going to go to air gas, get our welding supplies, and we'll, we'll put our pole in the, in the video. He's sure, our other buddy. <laughs> hiding behind the pole. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get our welding supplies set up for Monday. I think I'm going to go in. I already called Jason down at air gas and um, going to get some welding wire, some of our big tank bottles, both for doing steel and for doing aluminum. Anything else that we were bins up on? here? I mean, yep. it's it's temporary. We don't have it all completely bolted in yet. That's where it's going to be once we get the right hardware. Nate, do you want to show the the two machines I had you set up for the welding positioners? Oh, our, yeah. our little intern <laughs> here. Yeah. So uh, I got the uh, talk to the thing. <laughs> okay. It's a welding positioner, so what would you use that for? Uh, when you're holding a piece in here and it's fixed, then you're able to just hold your welder here and it'll spin around itself. As you're welding, mm -hmm. so you get a nice contiguous weld. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, there's another one over here, it's the... Uh, That's the horizontal one. It's a little bit fast, but... Uh, yeah, we've got to change that potentiometer to slow it down a bit because I don't think we'd be welding quite that fast to the other extreme that's off in the middle. It's a little bit fast. Oh, yeah. What's all that aluminum there, mate? Oh, uh, that is that is for welding, right? Test material. Yeah, test material. Ah, cool. yes. Practice material for you. Now those <laughs> bars there are not practice, so don't cut those up and use them, okay? They're actual parts <laughs> for the turbine prototype. Yeah. So at this point, the welding area is coming to life. I'm excited to see this. We're still waiting on our push-pull gun for the aluminum, but in the meantime, I could bring the Lincoln aluminum gun that we have from home and bring it in here to this shop. It's not the best option, but it'll at least get us welding aluminum at this point so we can start putting our scoops together. We got our forklift back. Yeah, nice. Yeah? We have new tires on the back. It's been... Oh. The garage is in the way. Yeah, <laughs> to like <laughs> move yeah, around him. on the back of our forklift now, and it's been tuned up. It's been given a full maintenance and inspection, and hopefully everything continues to run well on it. No, no more bullet leaks or gas leaks or anything. So this would be nice to have in here for actually testing our prototype. We have our scrap bin now that we got. So we have our scrap bin here. And I'm gonna have to scold Josh because it's supposed to be metal only. <laughs> no, it's okay. What's in there? Some grinding discs and oh. stuff. <laughs> a clean shop is a happy shop. There we go. Yeah. Yep. What are you thinking, Uncle Raj? Any? Did it's going good. I got yeah. two more weeks here. I wanna see some stuff happen in here. Yeah, he yeah. put his two week notice in. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna come back this oh, yeah. summer? Coming back. Yeah, okay. I'm Long, All right. He's selling the shop and moving down here to come here full time. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. About <laughs> what about you, Josh? Are you gonna you gonna stick around? Oh, I'll, I'll be here for the next 25, 30 years. I wow. Think. <laughs> All right. Cool. Nice. You're yeah. excited? Oh heck yeah! I, I can't wait to do this. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really looking yeah. forward to it. We are gonna start looking for talent outside of the little poor group that we have here, obviously, and. Um, yeah, at this point it's just starting to build that larger team to reach out and begin looking at the larger needs of the company. Okay, sounds good. Great. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for sticking with us. And hopefully you're enjoying the journey with us as much as we're enjoying being here doing it. Yep. All right, take and care we'll guys. See you next week. Ciao. Travis, wave and then run out. Yeah, Wait, what? you can do that. We'll, we'll set up, you can run by and wave and then run back out of all of us. <laughs> We'll put that in the blooper reel. There you go. The blooper reel. You think you want to work here this summer? Sure. Yeah, what do you want to say to all the other inter interns who are out there like dying for a position like this? It's not as hard as you think. It's actually, uh... <laughs> oh, we haven't worked them hard yet. Yeah. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> well, I mean... Harmony Turbines. We now have the power to change the world.